Walsh Construction is the prime contractor of the $175 million reconstruction of a six-mile stretch of Interstate 70 in Indianapolis. This heavily congested section of Super 70, on which nearly 180,000 cars travel each day, was constructed in the early 1970s and has never been rebuilt. As a result, the pavement and bridge decks were deteriorating. It had other problems as well, such as the danger of motorists having difficulty seeing around curves. In order to bring the roadway and bridges up to federal standards, shoulders are being widened to 14 feet and vertical clearances of many of the bridges are being widened and raised. The project has uh, 30 bridges, 28 of which are removed and replaced and widened. Um, we have two new mainline bridges that uh, are 60 foot above the existing grade, so we've got a grade separation of 60 foot with a 60 foot tall wire face retention system. The 28 bridges that we're rehabilitating, we are jacking those bridges up and putting them to a new profile to meet FHA standards. The, the pavement section itself in this job is also a little unique uh, to other projects. We do have a 12 inch layer of crushed aggregate from the concrete that was removed from the job, a six inch layer of virgin 53s, a three inch layer of eights, and a 16 inch layer of pavement. We are also reconstructing 28 bridge decks. On each existing bridge, we begin by driving piles for columns and inbeds. We then pour substructure work for the columns, set new beams, intact the old bridge, and take the old deck off, pull the rebar out of it, and take the concrete to the crusher. We then process the site into 53s, using limestone gravel for a 12-inch layer of aggregate crushed. This is followed by cleaning the beams and jacking them up, pouring concrete pedestals, installing bearing assemblies, dropping the beams down, installing metal decking indents, layering rebar, pouring the deck bridge and approach together, and finally, painting the structural steel. The job itself is a design-build job on top of everything else, so we're responsible to, to design the job. We, uh, we have a uh, consultant engineer that, that has designed the job, and we're very active in the design part of the work. So last year, after the job was awarded, we spent a few months there just working with our engineer and coming up with the most efficient, cost-effective design for us. It's something that we could also build in, in this short period of time. All work is being completed while maintaining traffic into and out of Indianapolis. We are utilizing six miles of movable barrier wall moved two times a day in order to keep traffic moving through the project at peak travel times. As one of the most aggressive construction projects in INDOT's history, the schedule is extremely fast track with all work to be completed in one construction season of nine months. The project is employing over 300 people, including tradesmen from the surrounding states of Illinois and Ohio. We have 300 employees out here right now, um, trying to, to put together the resources and all the materials that it takes to put something like this together. It's been, I think, a little bit different than what we've normally done. We've done very fast-paced work before in the state of Indiana, but nothing to this, to this magnitude. The work schedule has been mostly seven days a week and over 14 hours per day with some activities running around the clock. This has made it difficult to keep a consistent workforce at all times. Construction will be completed in phases. The first phase on the five lane north side of I-70 took place from March through July with two-way traffic maintained on the south side of the interstate. Phase two began in July on the five lane south side of I-70 during this phase, two-way traffic is being maintained on the newly reconstructed north side of the interstate. In both phases, two lanes of traffic are designated for each direction. The middle lane is being used as an express lane, which changes its traffic direction use by the movement of barricades, allowing for the morning or afternoon rush hour to have three available lanes. The project presents a number of challenges in addition to the heavy volume of work to be completed in a very limited time frame. We are spread out for six miles. Access and egress uh, was an incredible challenge. We had to build a lot of temporary roads off of side streets to be able to access the project. Because once you start removing bridges, you lose access through the project. So you have to allow for temporary access. Given the often 24-7 nature of the project, maintaining the team morale while meeting an accelerated work schedule has been a continuing challenge to stay on top of. 
We've rotated schedules and given weekend time off whenever possible. As it is with all our projects, safety is a prime objective, so we focus daily on achieving it. Most of our safety concerns have been driven by the pace of the project. While there are always safety concerns on every project, fatigue, morale, and hundreds of new employees have created potential hazards that a typical project doesn't see. We have, again, 30 bridges, so you have fall protection that needs to be employed on every bridge. And obviously, we're working on some city streets, so traffic concerns are a must. And we have a full-time um, safety engineer on the job and an EMT on the job to help with that as well. Walsh Construction has built some very successful fast-track highway projects in Indiana previously. And with the Super 70, which is the largest we've done by far in the state, we've continued to have an excellent working relationship with the Indiana Department of Transportation. This project is incorporating formal partnering with a facilitator, which has helped to keep issues out in the open and maintain positive partner relations. And this job is the biggest anyone in Indiana has done, so be part of that is definitely awarding in itself. And, and to bring it home on time, I, I don't know how anyone could ask for anything more, to be honest with you. And it's a job to be proud of, uh, quality work, which is what we're after, quality, speed, safety, all of it, and it's all here on this job. So uh, I think it's one to be proud of. The size and pace of the project is extraordinary for our business. The success of the project throughout its rebuilding and renovation has once again demonstrated the proven abilities of the men and women of Walsh Construction. The only way you can get a project done like this is with having the right team, and right now I would take the team I have here on any project. I have uh, good people here, a lot of young guys are willing to learn and stepped up and it's been incredible.